Status epilepticus is a time-sensitive neurological emergency. It is defined as five minutes or more of continuous seizure activity or recurrent seizures without return to baseline consciousness between events. This condition requires immediate recognition and coordinated intervention to minimize the risk of permanent neurological injury or death. The first priority in managing status epilepticus is the stabilization of the patient's airway, breathing, and circulation. These fundamental steps are essential to prevent secondary injury from hypoxia or hypotension. Immediate assessment of respiratory effort and oxygen saturation should guide the need for supplemental oxygen or airway support, including endotracheal intubation if necessary. Intravenous access should be established as early as possible. If intravenous access is delayed, intraosseous access or intramuscular administration of medications may be considered. Simultaneously, bedside glucose should be checked. If hypoglycemia is identified or suspected, administer dextrose. In patients with possible nutritional deficiencies or chronic alcohol use, administer thiamine before dextrose to reduce the risk of Wernicke's encephalopathy. The first-line agents for status epilepticus are benzodiazepines. Intravenous lorazepam is commonly used because of its effectiveness and relatively long duration of action. Intravenous diazepam is an alternative option. If intravenous access is not available, midazolam can be given by intramuscular, intranasal, or buccal routes. Rapid administration is important as prolonged seizures increase the risk of resistance to medication and adverse outcomes. If seizures continue after an adequate dose of benzodiazepine, second-line antiepileptic drugs should be administered without delay. Commonly used agents include phosphonatoin, phenytoin, levetiracetam, and valproate. Each should be given using an appropriate loading dose to ensure therapeutic plasma concentrations. The choice of agent may depend on availability, patient comorbidities, or the suspected etiology of the seizures. If seizures persist despite first and second-line therapies, the condition is classified as refractory status epilepticus. Management at this stage usually requires escalation to continuous infusions of anesthetic agents. Options include midazolam, propofol, or barbiturates. These agents are typically administered in an intensive care unit with close monitoring, often guided by continuous electroencephalographic recording to confirm seizure control and monitor for recurrence. While treating the seizures, parallel efforts should be made to identify and correct the underlying cause. Status epilepticus may result from various conditions, including central nervous system infections, structural brain lesions, metabolic disturbances, drug withdrawal, or intoxication. Laboratory tests, neuroimaging, lumbar puncture, and toxicology screening should be considered based on the clinical context. In summary, the management of status epilepticus requires a structured approach, rapid stabilization of vital functions, immediate administration of benzodiazepines, escalation to second-line antiepileptic drugs if needed, and prompt transition to continuous sedation in refractory cases. Early identification and correction of underlying causes are essential for effective and lasting seizure control. Timely intervention influences both survival and neurological recovery.